I'm so glad you're in a good mood today, man. So check this out. This company, Grip, sent me some phone mounts, some wireless chargers, and some tablet mounts, all for free. So these two are the same, these two are the same, these two are the same. I have to, you know, do kind of like an unboxing and review for my channel and showcase them. And then in return, I just get to keep the products. And I guess they gave me an extra three to do as kind of a giveaway for my YouTube channel. So very cool grip. I appreciate it. So I have kind of my main office slash studio desk set up here with my, you know, my monitors and stuff. And then I have this overhead rigged up set on this desk, which I usually keep like some other stuff on it. But right now I have it cleared off. Cat not included. That's just Curious Frito. Anyways, I got to get a camera and hook it up here because what I do is I mount a camera right here on this overhead rig and it gives us this bird's eye view that points straight down at what I'm unboxing. So that's cool. But first things first, I have to switch lenses on this camera that I'm going to be shooting with because this lens is entirely too, you know, zoomed in. It's, it's a 50. I'll be making that video later on, so be sure to be watching my channel for the uh, possibility of winning one of those things. What if his first words were Boomer Sooner? <laughs> Say, go OU, number one, Boomer Sooner. We decided to go work on Samantha's classroom for a little bit because if we don't start chipping away at it a little bit at a time each day, it's gonna sneak up on us and she's gonna be unprepared. So Sunset Elementary, here we come on a Saturday, July 20th, 2019. 50 years ago today, we landed on the moon. That's crazy. But anyways, I just told you guys what we're gonna do. So here we are, Sunset. So, uh, what's the objective for today? Maybe just hanging some stuff up and getting some of the junk out of here. There is a lot of stuff that was left in here, I guess, by the previous teacher that had this room last year. So, we're going to figure out what Sam wants to keep and what she doesn't want. And then there's actually a classroom or two that's not being used down that way. And we'll take this stuff and put it in. And now that we've got all these cork boards painted like Samantha wants them, She's got a bunch of her stuff that we need to start hanging up. So moving stuff, hanging stuff up. And number three, trying to do it all while keeping little man happy here. How appropriate for today. Just got Bodie to sleep. We got some visitors who are wanting to come check out Samantha's classroom. Samantha was working me and this guy to the bone, so we had to come to get a snow cone. Just kidding, she's not working us hard. She's doing all hard work, but uh, for real. Came and got her a drink, and now me and this dude right here, about to hop over the road right there and get us a snow cone. What kind you gonna get? Probably coconut. Coconut, blue or white? White. Let's see, they got apple pie, cherry lime. I think I'm gonna roll with wedding cake. I think I'm gonna go cherry lime. Flavor of the week, sangria, happy hour, 12 to 2, Monday through Saturday. Man, missed out on happy hour by 45 minutes. And missed out on good temperatures by about 30 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi class, this is your substitute teacher, Mr. Gisbrand. Samantha is out today, so I figured I would step in for a minute. Even though I'm not from Oklahoma, I am from Connecticut. Connecticut is a small little state on the East Coast, right in between New York and Massachusetts, right on the East Coast. And right above us is Vermont, New Hampshire, and right to the right is Rhode Island. So that's your class today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so this is what we did today. It doesn't really look like a lot, but it kind of does because it's very tedious work. So we put the borders around these two boards. I put my alphabet up in order, which took a little bit of took a little bit of effort because we had to make sure it was straight and we made, had to make sure we it was even on the sides. So there's that. And then we put up the months of the year, put up the calendar, put something right here these two so I can hang this got our seasons the weather the days of the week and our days in school so that's pretty much all we did we moved some furniture in and out actually just out and that's it but man we are tired first day of school August 8th mm-hmm After Samantha and I got back from, you know, working on her classroom, she and baby took a nap. So my parents asked me if I wanted to run over to JW Grill, small little burger, onion burger establishment um, in Chickasha. So we went over there and ate, and then I brought Samantha back some supper. Now, um, have I ever showed you guys the power kite? <laughs> Right there, power kite. So what do you do with a power, that curb gets me every time. What do you do with a power kite? You fly it for fun. No, I mean you can, but the reason that I got a power kite probably right at about 10 years ago, I was going to be a kite surfer. I actually ended up buying a huge kite, the board, the bindings, the harness, like the whole nine, you know, kite surfing, like you see the people doing in lakes, oceans, all over the place. I was really into that. My dad and his buddies, when they were my age and younger, they all windsurfed, right? Like back in the, you know, like back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, and so I just kind of come by it natural and I wanted to kite surf and I actually still do to this day, which right now I'm fat, out of shape, have a baby and just, you know, all kinds of other responsibilities and priorities. So uh, I may have to put it on hold for a little bit and get myself in better shape. Uh, but anyways, I ended up selling all that stuff because I didn't really have the time to do it. And at the time, there weren't a whole lot of people around Oklahoma doing it, which it's a great state to, you know, do any kind of wind powered sports like that because this is Oklahoma. When the wind comes sweeping down the plane. So anyways, even though I never did end up doing the kite surfing, I kept my power kite, which is kind of a quote unquote trainer kite that if you can understand it, then it's the same exact basic physics or fundamentals, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Like on how to fly those big kites because this kite's still pretty big and it's still pretty powerful, but it's nothing as big as like, you know, the huge kites that you can get and fly that are actually gonna be powerful and strong enough to pull a grown man across a body of water on a board, right? So anyways, um, I don't know if I'm gonna have quite enough wind, which is unusual because it's you, the wind's usually always going crazy here in Oklahoma, but we're gonna try, we're gonna see what happens and I'll show you guys the power kite. <laughs> All right, got a nice little breeze coming through right now and I think we're ready for launch.
look at her flying that kite like a big girl. Not even, she's so skilled, she's not even looking at the kite. Look at that. Oh, there it goes. flew decent there's really to be honest not quite enough wind out here right now it's just real gusty but it's really fun when the wind's blowing 15 mile an hour plus and that thing it'll really just you know it'll bite it's pretty powerful it'll yank you forward if you're not careful you know what i'm saying you got to understand what i believe is called the wind window the wind window and there's a lot to it it's pretty cool though it's a lot of fun so if you guys kind of looking for you know kind of a hobby and it's windy where you are check out um a power kite man i think that one i can't even remember how big it is but i'll put the link to it in the description or a kite similar because again it's like 10 years old so these dogs back here they they didn't like the kite I flew the kite there in a field behind my parents house so uh i knew my parents were babysitting my sister's uh youngest they went and watched a movie so I figured Demery, she might like, you know, the whole kite thing. So I told dad to come check it out. And so she came out and she flew the kite. She really thought it was pretty cool, but I think she got hot because she was pointing back at the house after a little bit. You know, the kite's only cool for so long when it's that hot outside. So it was good to see them. We, me and dad, you know, swung her in a little swing set and everything. So now I'm heading back home because I got to see what my own son's up to. Something that Samantha got for Bodie here. She wants me to go take it to the backyard. So to the backyard we go. So I bought him a tummy time mat on Amazon. And you air up the sides and you fill water in the middle. And it has like these shapes of fish that float around. It's like a tummy time mat for him. So he doesn't really hate it, but he doesn't really love it. Tummy time. And so maybe this as one. of seven weeks yeah as of seven weeks so i thought maybe this would help he might like the water and then um as he gets older he can um he can look at the, the little fish swimming around and he'll like it even more but we're gonna try it now Well, Bodhi actually seemed to like that pretty well. It's probably one of them things that he'll like it, you know, more as he gets older. But anyways, we just thought we'd test that out with him. But now, sun's about to set. I think I'm going to fly the drone a little bit because the wind's calmed down. And then that's pretty much probably going to about do it for this vlog. One of those, you know, another one of those just, you know, real laid back, simple vlogs. But hey, that's what I did today. So uh, I'm going to get outside and fly this drone a little bit. Yeah, that's what we did today. Until next time, guys. Vlog number. Dylan. What? Let Bodie do it.